the emperor's new clothes. Once upon a time, there was an emperor. He is very wealthy. But he was not a good ruler. All he was concerned about was his new clothes. The emperor used to wear a new outfit every single day. People used to say that he changes his clothes almost every hour. He used to spend all his money in saving clothes of new styles and patterns. One fine morning, they arrived a couple of fiddlers in the kingdom. They became so popular that the emperor heard about them. I did to get some clothes suit from those tailors. Call those tailors to my palace. Get you to stitch some clothes for me, said the king. We feel honored to have this opportunity. I'll stitch some of the thinnest and the most beautiful for his highness. The emperor offered them a lot of money. Few days passed, the emperor called his prime minister. Seemed to check how far the tailors have come. After a few days, he sent his two counselors to check how the tailors were doing. Arrived at the room, the tailor showed them the clothes and admired their work. Turned to the emperor, confused. The emperor went to the room where the tailors were raving. The emperor could see anything. He threw for a while, I can't see anything. The emperor granted them a couple of days and left the room. News about the emperor's clothes spread through the city. After two days, the emperor went to the tailors. The emperor moved his clothes and wore the clothes offered by the tailor. The emperor turned to the mirror to see his attire. The two bedchamber from the palace lifted the emperor's tail somehow and followed him. The emperor walked through the crowd. All the citizens in the city watched the new clothes of the emperor, and everybody admired him. The emperor was pleased with the appreciation. As the procession entered in the central of the city in the central square of the city, the boy looked at the emperor and shouted, He is wearing nothing but the underpants. The emperor isn't wearing anything. He is nude. The emperor felt ashamed but he couldn't leave the procession at once. He realized that he had been pulled. All his counselors had lied and praised He the didn't quote. pay attention to the people. People started laughing. He was being fooled.